All right, so this lesion is a large a nodule filling the dermis and extending down into the subcutis. You can see it's been uh, excised here. And there is uh, not only a pink color to it, but there's also kind of a grayish, uh, grayish color here, grayish, almost grayish blue. And that's because it's not just collagen, it's actually a sheet of cells in here once it comes into focus. So the dermis has a sheet of cells filling it and extending down to the subcutis. And when we go in closer and look at those, the cells have abundant, they have round oval nuclei and abundant kind of foamy cytoplasm. It's a little hard to see on this scan because the quality is not great. And also uh, foamy, bubbly cytoplasm doesn't always show up as well on a digital scan because it's kind of refractile. You can flip the condenser under the light microscope to see it and it's harder to be able to do that. It's impossible to do that actually on a digital slide. But the cells look at how much cytoplasm. So that's why this, this kind of pale grayish pink color, when you see an infiltrate of cells in the dermis with a grayish pink or uh, grayish blue, grayish pink kind of color to it, think about histiocytes because often what that means is you're seeing the nuclei and the abundant pale cytoplasm. That's what gives it this color from low power because of that extra cytoplasm. And oftentimes the cells that do that are histiocytes. There are other things too. And so when we have a large nodule like this that's made of foamy histiocytes, it's a xanthoma, and this is called a tuberous xanthoma. And usually these are associated with serum lipid um, abnormalities. Uh, and so getting the patient's um, uh, serum lipid panel checked um, to get them worked up for that is important if they don't already carry a diagnosis of uh, dyslipid, uh, dyslipidemia.